So this morning we're going to have apple cinnamon cereal. It's basically, it looks like oatmeal. So even though we know we're going to have to pull out of here because the Arvo track, we're still looking to see if we can find a moose. It would be foolish to shoot one, but I have been called foolish before, so we're just taking a little look and then we're going to get on the road here. So it looks like a cinnamon oatmeal. I would say it needs to sit there a little bit longer. So we'll check back. It's got good flavor though. You can taste the cinnamon. There's a little bit of apple flavor in there. This might be the best of the cereal that I've had that's in this box. So we're going to continue putting stuff away looking. We'll be on the trail soon. So this has probably been here 20 minutes. So it looks like oatmeal. Kind of got a thick little goop to it. Tastes like apple and cinnamon. Oatmeal. Very good. Probably the best one of the breakfast meals would be my, what I would say. This tree right here, yeah, over to there, and then you just go across the top and you lower it, you come back over, you lower it, and then I did it from this tree to that tree there. But you can do it however you want. Yeah. And there's a little bit of condensation. That's a wool shirt, which doesn't do a very good job. I don't have any cotton here. So they're not as clear as they should be. You'll see there's a little bit of condensation there. So we got everything packed up. We're about a day early, but because of our track problem, we're gonna go ahead and pull out here in a little bit. We got pretty much everything packed, threw a couple more things in the Argo, finish looking on the other hillside. I kind of sort of hope that we don't see anything, but if we did see something of good size, we would probably have to pursue it, which would not be wise. Um, so we'll continue looking here and Next, we'll be on the trail. So we'll see you on the trail. Fixed before we go any, across any marginal areas. We're getting, getting ready to go through a mud hole. You know for sure it's going to blow up in a mud hole. That's where it'll go bad.
something. Some brush, hopefully. If it's big enough, I can hook a winch cable on too, and we can winch. Realistically, I don't think it's going to take a whole lot to be enough to get us going. should have done was I should have ran this through itself so it pinched itself and stay at the bottom. The further you pull it up the worse they get. That was my bad. Rope has broken here. And so we're gonna have to take this apart and redo it. So um, we'll check back with you. So this is our fix. And you can see there's a lot of space here. And that's simply because we did not let the air out of the front tire and the back tire to reduce the circumference. We're gonna try to get to the top and then we'll uh, mess with it. Okay, so we can't make it up through there pulling the trailer. So we've unhooked the trailer. We're gonna go up on top and we'll winch it up to it. Starts um, coming down, we'll want to be able to hit the brake. Want to run the cable out just a, spare, a smidge? Okay, got it. So, when I built this trailer, I put a hook on the bottom of the hitch just for instances like this. rock that it can make life hard let's just try backing it up nice and easy but I uh, I would like to have more than that strap on it oh yeah well, maybe we can let's see if we get I'm gonna see if I can get some rocks and block the back tires and then we'll get this thing turned around hook onto it and we'll see if we can do it Let a 
a little bit off the wench and we'll see what happens. If it starts to go crazy, yeah. grab the side of it and whip it and that way it'll go up into the bushes. we don't want to have happen is we don't want the Argo to bump it and so you probably have to lift it down just a little bit okay we're back to winching and this is all small stuff so I'm going to try to gather up as much as I can I'll put this back into itself so it's like a slip knot and we'll see if it holds I don't know Take the valve from out of this tire so we just wait. And once the tires are deflated, then we'll jack it together and get it kind of tight. And then hopefully it'll be good enough. So that's one, we're gonna do about two of those. Another lap through there, and then hopefully that will hold better than the last time. Several loops in here. I'm gonna take the ratchet strap off right now. And realistically, it's a little narrower than it's even supposed to be. Once we start going, it'll probably widen that up a little bit. We'll see how it goes. Then I'll put the valve stems back in the tires so we can put the tires up. the way back we're probably six hours from the trailhead so we've got six hours of this so far we have made it about a half mile before we had to redo everything but this is one of the worst stretches probably I mean the steepest um, at least going up there's just some mud pits and stuff but um, we'll see how it goes so there's the completed fix and you can see this is parallel now pretty much so that's about where it's supposed to be hopefully for the 
other um, 99 of 100 percent of this trip, we won't have a problem. That swamp full bugs me because if something goes bad there, nobody's right. gonna go no. So you can see our 
time to redo it. We've made pretty good progress, though I'd say we're two thirds of the way, be my guess. Well, there's our third attempt. We'll see how that goes. up for an adventure but this adventure was not the adventure I was looking for we were looking for a moose hunting adventure um, instead it turned into a self-recovery adventure the night that we rolled in we put up our tents we went out to go hunting and that's when we blew the track out and so we went back to camp Jerry rigged it there and sat in camp that night and spotted across the canyon Across the canyon, probably a mile away, there were two bulls. One was probably high 40s. I don't think he would have made 50. The other was probably a solid 55 inch bull. Nice bull. Um, and then he disappeared that evening just as the sun was setting down. The next morning we did look for him. You'll see, you can see that in the clip where we're moving around and spotting. Um, we never did see him the next morning, which is probably thankful because if we would have seen him, I would have felt inclined probably to put a sneak on him and there's no way that we would have made it out with 800 pounds in the back of this Argo. And so uh, as much as I hate to say it, it probably turned out for the best. Uh, we would have figured it out probably. Um, or we would have had to make a hard decision one way or the other. But at any rate, thanks for coming along. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next adventure in Alaska.